Yo guys, what is up? It is Master Darius here bringing you guys another video, and in this video I'm going to be discussing with you guys some of the, some of my, um, it's going to be a Destiny related topic, and in this video we're going to be discussing public events in Destiny. So I'm going to be going through a whole bunch of the, uh, interesting topics in Destiny, I'm going to be discussing them in full depth. Same thing with like I'm doing with Shadow of Mordor, just showing you my hype and anticipation for the, for the games that are coming out this fall. I'll also be doing so a few videos on the Halo for Master Chief collection, but there's um, not much more to say until the Comic Con, until more is pre um, presented at the Comic Con panel. So anyway, um, so yeah, public events. So public events is a new and unique, unique experience that uh, actually first introduced in Destiny. Hasn't been this sort of um, event hasn't been introduced in any other games. So it's basically. Bungie that invented this sort of public event, and it should be very unique, especially with the um, benefit from the dedicated servers on the Xbox One and next gen features. But it is still compatible for the um, old generation console like the 360 and PS3. But anyway, what is a public event? A public event is a global mini game in Destiny. Local players may participate in a game determined objective in order to defend zones from enemies and earn loot. So, you can public events are optional. They can occur at any random time while you're playing with, with your guard, with your fire team, or by yourself. Um, so they can occur any single time at random, even while you're fighting, any time. And you may, you will be given the option to participate in the public event, or you may deny it, and you may move on with your adventure. So public events are optional, but you don't have to do them. But if you do participate in a public event and succeed, you'll be rewarded with some loot, which is very handy. And loot, and will help you. Will help you. You can get more weaponry, and it'll make you stronger, obviously. And it can occur anywhere in Destiny. And basically, if you participate in, participate in a public event, you'll be most likely meeting up with other fire teams that um. They are also in the same area like you are, so you can you can meet up with some brand new fire teams that you never met up before, and you can work together to battle against the waves of enemies before encountering a, fi a final boss. An example of a public event is a fall is fallen assault. Basically, we have waves of fallen coming after you in an event, and in the end, you have to fight against a fallen devil walker, which is a boss. But of course, for example, in Venus, you can fight against waves of um. Jesus Christ, I, I haven't forgotten their names. Um, Vex, there you go. I, oh, fuck, I, I, I almost forgot their name. Vex, in the end, you can fight against um, the floating the floating sort of oracle type mod um, robot thingy. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's all. B yeah, so that's what public events are, basically. But um, they're basically news. They've been introduced in Destiny for the first time and haven't appeared in any. Pu things such as public events have never appeared in other games, which is very interesting. And I do find public events very interesting, and I believe they can work very well in the next-gen consoles and PC. So yeah, I find it very good that you have, will have the um, option to join, so you don't have to join. If you don't want to like keep experiencing the same public event over and over again, you can just skip it and continue with your um, adventure that you're, um, that you're uh, basically going on with. So basically so basically I want to know in the comments if you guys do want well we can make it a community thing. What do you guys think about public events and will you be doing public events every single time you get the opportunity to? Do you think public events will eventually get stale and get boring? Because I think I got a strange feeling the public if you keep doing the same public event over and over again it may get boring. Even though even though you'll be um reward of loot. However if you are if you are very interested in earning loot and you really want to earn loot, um, public events may never get stale for you because obviously you have that valuable loot at the end. However, if you keep, for example, getting full and assault as a public event, you may get um, bored of it and you may just decide to skip it. So I honestly think that public events may get stale, but obviously you'll be coming from time to time to obviously get some more loot because loot is going to be of course very important in Destiny's campaign and story mode. So, yeah, Qu community questions are, um, do you think, what do you think of public events, do you like them or not? 
you like what they are. Um, do you think that public events will get stale or not? So two community questions that I'll, that I'll like you guys to answer. So, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about public events. Is the, um, not a really big topic, but I'll have more bigger Destiny topics to talk about. I really want to talk about planets, like in the future, but there's really a research on planets, but there's really not much to talk about. Like, there's a whole bunch of, like, mini information that every single person knows about. Like, it's not many, not much interesting stuff. Like, I got a feeling we have to wait till beta to find out more about the planets, um, or even for full game release. By the way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been quite a short one, just short introduction to public events. So in conclusion, I think public events are a good idea that have been developed by Bungie, and I think they are cool, and I'll most likely be participating in as many of them as possible until I have completed every single type of public event. And of course, I'll be gathering as many loot as possible, but when public events get stale, I'll of course, I will of course stop um, participate in public events for a while, and I think it's very cool that you can meet up with different guardians, um, different fire guardian fire teams, which is quite good, a cool idea as well. Um, and I'm and I definitely 100% think there's going to be achievement in game um, for completing every single type of public event on every single planet. Um, so I think different planets will have different public events. So for example, on Venus you'll have a Vex salt, for example, but on Old Russia, which is on Earth, you will have um, Fallen Salts, and yeah. So basically, I'm done. I'll let you guys enjoy for the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which is coming up tomorrow. So bye. Capture. Uh, uh. 